Yesterday we produced the show with Mace. Mace from It Is What It Is. Obviously, we don't know who Mace is. And he's on the show asking the question, why isn't big media talking about this story? They're doing a major disservice to sports fans. They're doing a major, major disservice. This is Mace asking the question, right? And this morning, I was sitting down thinking about this very same subject because it's still on my mind and I'm still going to talk about it. Still going to talk about it. And it reminded me of a shale, the Shale's uh, son in a comments that he made a few months back, just under a year ago, on LeBron James talking about how he believes that LeBron is on something and he knows the person, all of that. And when he said that at the time, people were surprised. I don't know why they were surprised, but anyway, they was like, you look at the guy playing, like, I don't know what is so surprising to you. Maybe LeBron got special chickens or special carrots or special spinach, special bread that nobody else has access to. They, like, I don't know what is so surprising to you. So the guy says he believes that people came back and pushed back on him. Then I noticed he produced another show about seven, eight months ago where he was actually doubling down on the comments that he made about LeBron. So what we want to do is we want to play what Shale Sonnen had to say here. Uh, and then we're going to come back and really get into the meat and potatoes of the show. Take a listen to what he had to say here. When I was a sophomore in high school and Suzanne Summers wrote a book that was separated by like three months and they both told the truth. Sylvester Stallone said, hey, there's something out there called human growth hormone. In other countries, it sits on the shelves. I several times have driven across the border into Mexico. I just walked into the pharmacy and grabbed it. Here in America, you can't get it. Come hook or crook, and that will be different. In 30 years, when people finally realize, to what I've already realized, you will be able to get it. This was just a claim he made. I mean, I'm just going back all this time, and I remember him saying it. It was a very honorable thing that Stallone did, and he wants to go out and put out pictures and videos and show himself lifting weights. That's very honorable. Because he's telling us what he's doing. And if that inspires you or something you'd like to do, you can now follow his recipe and have a reasonable expectation that you get somewhere to those same gains. I think there's an honor in that. And when I brought up to Andrew Schultz about the EPO and LeBron James, I, I just bring that to you. I, I'm not putting down LeBron. There's 10 guys that do it. Like, that has separated itself. I mean, I only know one golfer that's on the diet. And I'm talking about the big three. I'm talking about boost your test. IGF-1, which means growth hormone, EPO. I only know one golfer. All of golf. I only know ever in the history of golf. All the way back to, remember that Lee Trevino, the great? I only know one golfer that they call him Tiger because this stuff works. And it also is legal. The three that I just said are legal. It's the John Cena approach. Tell people I've never taken a thing. Well, he says that because he's never taken anything illegal. He just happens to know a secret that so many others don't, which is you can get prescribed these medications. And I was just speaking to the power of the medication. I'll, I'll leave you with one final thought. So you heard what he had to say uh, there. What are my thoughts on this? Well, my thoughts on this are the following. We're having too many people bring this up. I was recently, I was searching for this topic <clears throat> and I came across a clip from Patrick B. David's Valuetainment where he was talking about the investigation and that clip has half a million views. He was talking about it. Was Patrick B. David accusing LeBron? No, he wouldn't do something that crazy. Instead, what he was, what he was doing, he was talking about it like everybody else should be, but they won't. Now, here's what annoys me. I think here's the point that Shale Sonnen was bringing up. He's like, wait a minute. I would have more respect for you if you told me what you were doing and I knew exactly what was going into it. He brought up the example before of lifting weights and he's looking at other people he's talking about Stallone. He's like, I went to the gym for 15 years. Believe me, if I lift more weights, lift more weights, lift more weights, lift more weights, I'm eventually going to look like this guy to come to find out that that guy was taking some stuff that would actually enhance his growth. Meanwhile, I'm following the narrow road thinking, oh, if I do it the right way, he's going to have, he's like, no, it's not, it's not fair. He's like, tell me what you did. So I get the real picture of what's going on here. So you don't sell me some pipe dream that's not realistic. That's what he's talking about. He's like, I respect you more if you give me the full picture. It's like somebody coming to us um, asking, okay, how do you grow a YouTube page? And we tell them everything except the essential information. 
We tell them all of the frivolous, oh, if you work hard, if you publish a lot of videos, if you're consistent, da, 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 but you don't really give them the meat and potatoes behind of how to actually grow a page. But are you being, and then, and then the guy's sitting back, working, 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 working. Meanwhile, he doesn't have all the information, but he thinks based on what you told him, one day he's gonna get where you are, but your ass knows that you never gave him the full picture and he knows he will never get there. Now, in the case of LeBron, why is this important? Because LeBron's new argument, because he cannot beat Jordan straight up, or oh, you gotta be an idiot personally to believe that if you compare both of their peaks that they're they're not even remotely close to each other. So now they're trying to use the longe longevity argument. But if we now found out that you had an unfair advantage to be able to extend your career, but also an advantage that maybe some of those guys didn't have before, then what do we really think about your career as a whole? How are we really supposed to feel about everything that we're seeing? How are we? And what you're noticing, more and more people are talking about this story. More and more people are talking about it. And I think more people should be. Is anybody coming out there and saying LeBron did it? But that would be slander. That will be slander. That's not what people are doing here, is it? What people are doing is they're talking about what's being reported. Now, some people will say, what well, KG, you could say that could be slander. But me talking about what KG said is not slander. It's me reporting the news. How you feel about it is your bloody business, if you like it or not. But we're going to talk about it. It cannot be just this bleep of, oh, he's amazing. And hey, look at his great conditioning and he spends $2 million a year, blah, 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 blah. And some people are like, hold up. There's more to it. No, no, don't talk about that. He spends $2 million. But how do you know? Have you seen LeBron spend $2 million? No, of course you haven't. You're just going off of what you heard anyway. What $2 million you heard? How would somebody know LeBron spends $2 million? How would you personally know that? How? How would you know it? How would you know he, those expenditures? How would you know it? Were you there when he was doing those bank transfers? Well, no. You're just rolling with the news. And you accept it for what it is. All we're doing is talking about it. And we're going to continue to talk about it. I've read some comments. Some people out there saying, you know, basically hoping that our channel will die. That's LeBron fans for you, some of them, man. When they don't like the message, they hope your channel dies. Because they love looking at LeBron walk up and down the court. They hope your channel dies. I hope your channel doesn't do well. Oh, when LeBron retires, your channel's going to be dead. All right. All right. Let's see how that works. Let's see how it works out for you guys. We'll be waiting.